I've taught French for years and I studied French all the way through uni, so I was like ecstatic to be going to France. Oh my God! To see that name on that clue was one of my top five spots that I want to visit. Do you think we'll see the Eiffel Tower? Of course, you're going to Paris. Oh my God. God, I can't believe we made this flight. Lucy and Amelia, Shane and Andrew, Joseph and Grace, and Sticky and Sam are on the second flight to Paris, arriving at 5.55 p.m. You know the 15th arrondissement. The 15th arrondissement. Oui, merci. Straight away, knowledge of French is coming into use. We tell our students every day, you never know when you're going to need to use another language. Merci, merci. Tu veux, merci. Driving through Paris was surreal. We drove right around the Arc de Triomphe and then we could see the Champs Elysees and it was honestly a dream come true for me. Merci, merci. Merci. Au revoir. Au revoir. Gear host, la corde. Yes, yeah. Road Roadblock. <laughs> Who's a rising, rising star? star. That sounds like me. <laughs> you do it. Do it. Oh. We were one of those top four teams to make the cooking class. In the class. cooking class. Paris is definitely looking up for us. Oh, I found it! We just made it. Do you want to see butter the souffle moulds? If you've never made a souffle before, it's actually quite daunting to just follow these random steps. Sprinkle evenly with sugar, tipping out in excess. I've never made a souffle before, but I tend to have a repertoire of three cakes that I rotate through. And souffle is not one no, of them. No, souffle is not one of them. Good grief. What happened to having a lesson? The room was so tense, having all these chefs and sous chefs staring at you, not being able to help you. No one really seemed confident in what they were doing. Oh, don't think that's stirred enough. Oh, okay, okay. The chef doesn't give you anything. Like, he doesn't give you any positive or... He just looks at you like you, God, what, are you, what have you done? Oh my God, Steve, yours look fantastic. Uh, yeah, it's not coming up properly though. It's not rising even. I was confident with how mine were looking. Please God. The most important thing about souffle is that you don't let it ploof. Because if it ploofs, it's not good. I have no idea how long my souffles have been in the oven. I thought if you overcook a souffle, that's no good. Okay, je crois que c'est vrai. But if you undercook a souffle, that's certainly not good. Oh my god, I didn't realise I had to time it myself. It's a big smile. <laughs> Fine. Uh huh. All right. Nice. It's light. Bottle. Congratulations and good yes. luck. Good girl. We're up in second place. We've never been in second place. Never so been in second place. Travel by taxi to Rondi's wholesale market. Excuse-moi, il est où Jean-Marie? Nous avons besoin de Jean-Marie. Let's go. Allons-y. All right, let's go find him. We could only see one entry. Merci beaucoup, monsieur. The piece of cheese is massive and heavy. Thank God for our trolley. Oh, it's a heavy mother yeah, piece of cheese. Yeah, thank God we had that, man. So we think that there's only um, Paul and Steve and the blondes ahead of us, which is good. Good position for us. Right at the back. Yeah. That's good. Can you wait? Okay. Thank you. Merci, bonjour. Je contrôle. Oui, oui, contrôle. C'est parfait. Et voilà pour vous. Merci. Paris is certainly delivering everything we've asked for. No, no cute Frenchmen though. Well, almost everything we Almost asked. everything we <laughs> Make your way to the Dibley footbridge. Okay. There's a painter over there. Beautiful. Yeah. Bonjour, monsieur. Oh, c'est Fly to you. Havana. Cuba! I oh, want to leave Paris. <laughs> I want to go to Cuba, but not when I'm in Paris and not when we're like kind of a little bit ahead. We want to stay. <laughs> I think. That's actually probably the easiest we've ever strolled onto a flight. Michelle and Joe, Paul and Steve, Lucy and Amelia, Shane and Andrew, and Joseph and Grace are on the first flight from Paris to Havana, Cuba, arriving at 3:10 p.m. 
The gears, the gear stick's not even in the normal place a gear stick is. It was completely different to a normal manual car. I had no idea what I was doing. This is not a normal car. Ah! All right, ready to put in drive. Just follow them. OK, jump in, jump in. I finally get the car moving. Bunny hops, stops. Oh, gosh. Just need you to stay positive. The car was just not working. This is so bad. In the midst of all of this, the car was just not working. OK, we'll switch vehicles. All right, yeah. you want to switch vehicles? Switch vehicles. We need to change cars. OK. Eventually, we took off. It looked like things could be looking up. Just go straight. I'm on the right side of the road. Lento, lento, per favor. Yes? OK. I was in charge of directions, but we didn't have a map. OK, he's going to drive you. We kind of thought, thought we'd just stop and ask people along the way. Did you get any indication from him of where we're going? Just follow him. OK. OK, yamo, 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 yamo. OK. All right, I'm going to just stop the car. Really, Lucy? Oh, that's funny. I was going to keep going. It was a helpless situation, and I think we were just really getting frustrated. This is the point where teams break on the race. Move, oh, move, move. Go, go. I can't get it. I can't get it to go anywhere. Oh, God, this is a bad place to stop. This is not good. 